right, today we're doing over underperformed for the New York Yankees. Here, we're gonna go line up. There's like 10 guys that I'll go over, 10, 11 on the offensive side. Then we go over the five starters, and I'll just go over some notable guys that haven't been up to par to what we expect from them in the future and now. Alright. So guys, you can do this with me in the comments section. First player is DJ LeMayhew. Do you think he under has underperformed or has performed? Now this is all comes to what you had in your mind of what he would do this season so far. So has he done what you would want him to do so far this season? Has he done that? Yes or no? I'll give you all five seconds. I am going to say that DJ LeMahieu has performed. And DJ's WRC Plus is at 130, so I would say he's performed. Because going into the season, I wanted a 120, 125 WRC Plus guy. He's kind of done that so far. So, so far, so good. One for one, you know what I'm saying? Alright. Now the second one, Aaron Judge. This one shouldn't be hard at all. He has easily performed. I mean, I don't even got to look at the stats. He's easily performed. He's in the AL MVP race with Michael. Michael Nelson Trout. I mean, Judge has just been our guy this season. But yeah, I mean, I'll give you all a couple of seconds to say in the comments. Alrighty, and Judge had a 194 WRC plus and leads the league in home run so far. So Judge has overperformed, not just performed, overperformed to his standards, which his standards were all the way up. So congrats to Judge on that. Uh, the way he's playing, he's going to get his big bag. The Yankees better pay it out. But that's two players in. The number three player is Anthony Lizzo. Anthony Lizzo. What do you guys think Lizzo performed, underperformed, overperformed? Overperformed is a good thing. But has he exceeded your expectations? And I'll give y'all a couple seconds for that. Lizzo has a 150. WRC plus. Now what I was expecting from Rizzo was about 120, 115 to 120s. And he's done that. He's performed heavily. So I'm going to say Rizzo performed. The only reason I'm not saying overperformed is because lately he's been in the slump. So I'm kind of going to use a little, little like recently type of thing that may come into my mind. But yeah. Stanton next. Giancarlo Stanton. I would say performed now. Um, but his WRC Plus is at a 155, which is performed. And he's been on a heater recently. A heater. He's been on a friggin' heater recently. A friggin' heater. 10 home runs, I think. He's two behind Judge. Stanton, you know, has done the damn thing after a slowish start the first couple weeks. He's really turned it on. And this is what Stanton does when he gets hot. It is beautiful to watch. Beautiful to watch him play. It's just a thing that you've never seen ever in my lifetime. I've never seen anything like it. Next up. Josh Donaldson. He's been on a heater recently as well. Do we think he's underperformed, performed, or overperformed? Now, with 
that being said, I will give y'all a couple of seconds here to think about your decision. Josh Donaldson, as present, is at a 142 WRC+. Plus. Which that has performed. And like I said, Donaldson has been heating up that stick. If Donaldson's going, man, I'm really, really liking this lineup. I can certainly go this lineup has performed pretty well, I think, so far in the young season. So far, obviously, this team has performed really well so far. So, yeah, I'm going to say performed with Donaldson. The next one up is Gleyber Torres. Now, this guy has been playing pretty good brand of baseball for, you know, a week or two. Now, I don't know how good it has been, but I know that he's been playing pretty damn solid for a couple of weeks now. And he's had a couple of clutch hits in there as well. Don't forget those. As well as a walk-off home run sprinkled in between. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I will give you guys five seconds to make your decision. Okay? I'll give you a little bit longer. Gleyber Torres, WRC Plus this season, is a 114 WRC Plus. And with that being said, I think it's borderline performed. Because I kind of wanted him in that range, so just performed, just barely performed. I want Kleber in a 115-ish WRC Plus range, and I think that is doable. I also think that he can be a 125 guy, but I felt like that was a little too high after a couple of bad seasons, so I want 115 as my what I wanted out of him. What I would be like, okay, I like that type of thing. But yeah, I would say just barely performed with uh, Gleyber Torres here. And uh, yeah, I would say just barely on the edge. A couple points down, I'd probably say just underperformed. So Gleyber just makes the cut for performed. Aaron Hicks. Now the last one I did, I said Aaron Hicks is heavily performed. But times have changed since then. <laughs> Because Aaron Hicks then was like the leadoff guy, like he was playing really, really well. The only bad thing was a couple of opportunities that he squandered. You know those things that, you know, they squander an opportunity in a big moment. They just disregard every other, ever, every other moment, right? But this isn't the case with Hicks. He's really not been finding his stride recently. So uh, I will give you guys about. Tennis seconds here to make your decision. So, do you think has Hicks underperformed or has he performed so far throughout the 2022 MLB baseball season for the New York Yankees? Now, my pick before seeing the stats, I think underperformed. Yeah, I'm gonna go underperformed. Underperformed is my final answer. And Aaron Hicks has a 95 WRC plus with a .1 war. So he's just been just above the league average player in war. And five points below league average, which I'm expecting Hicks to be somewhere in the range of play between 110 to 115. So I'm this underperformed, man. Yeah, I was kind of right. So we're going to go Hicks underperformed. And by the end of this list, I'm going to go down the list and confirm who I went over, who I, who I went performed and underperformed with. Just to help you on a basis of who I think has played really well and who needs to step it up a little bit for this team as of right now. As their season stats. But yeah. Uh, on to the next one, I believe is Joey Gallo. Yeah, I'm going to do Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo, next up. Um, I'm leaning towards um, underperformed. He's really starting to pick it back up. But uh, 
man, Joey Gallo, the, the tough, tough start. His stats probably don't look the greatest. And that's why I'm probably going to say underperform. But um, I'll give you guys some time to tell me what you think in the comment section below. What do you guys think? of Joey Gallo this season. Has he performed? Has he underperformed? Has he been bad? Has he been good? You know, all that junk. What has he been to you this season so far? For me personally, full season so far, I think he's underperformed a bit. But he's still been above average hitter. At least I think. Anyway, we're going to go into the stats right now and see that for ourselves. He has a 103 WRC plus. I mean, I'm expecting, I was expecting 125 to 130 with Gala. So this is definitely like an underperform for me. Um, yeah, I think it's underperformed. And I'm going to speed through this because this video is getting pretty lengthy. And I don't want it to be super, super lengthy. So we're going to speed through a little bit faster here. The next one is Isaiah Kenefalefa. IKF. I looked at the stats. It's a little bit of an underperform. Also, kind of what you expect. I, I'm going to say he's a hybrid. He's at a 99 WRC+. Plus. What were we expecting from him? I wanted like a 100 or a 105. So if he was 100, I'd be like, bam, that's it. But 99, just on the brink. Just on the brink. I'm going to say underperform by a little bit. That's a little harsh on IKF, yes, but that's what I'm gonna. That's gonna be my final answer for this. I'm not gonna look at the stats for the catchers. We both, we all know that the catchers haven't done jack offensively. We have one homer combined with all of our catchers, and that happened last friggin' night. <laughs> so to be fair, the catchers haven't done anything offensively. So I'm gonna say I'm a bank on underperformed. Underperformed our two catchers. Kyle Higashioka and Jose Trevino for the New York Yankees. They have underperformed offensively. That's basically what I'm looking at. Offense. And then pitching, obviously, is next. The starting rotation is next. The first one is Jamison Tyone. The guy has a 2.93 year right. To say he's performed is an understatement. We were expecting like a 3.5 to a 4 guy. But three, six, seven starts under a three. Clap it up for J Mo. Beautiful start. Perform, perform, performed. Book it. Garrett Cole had a two nine five year right. We're gonna say performed, but you know, you know, kind of get it to a two seven, two six guy. Garrett, I would like, but you know. We're not going to pick and choose here. We're going to say perform, but we're not going to say hit perform, like way perform, but Cole's you know, perform, doing what you'd expect him to do, perform. Jordan Montgomery, 306. Performed, performed, performed. Look it. Only issue is that we don't score anything when Monty is on the mound. 306 ERA is a beauty of an ERA. I love it. 306 ERA, book that shit. Monty's been brilliant for us so far. Nestor Cortez Jr., I mean, I don't even gotta tell you, 135 year rate leads the league in year rate through seven starts. Book it with Nestor. Book it. There's not a conversation to be had. He's pitched like Mark Buehler back in the day. He's been beautiful. Book the overperformed. Book it, man. Sevy. Sevy's 3-6. Definitely improved from what it was. It was a 4. I expect more from Sevy. I expect low, low 3. 3-3 three, three or lower is what I expect from Sevy if he wants to be that ace behind Garrett Cole, which, you know, Nestor's doing that right now. But, uh, yeah, if he wants to... That, that's what I expected from him, and he has not delivered that. I mean, I would, ex I would accept a 3, 4, 5 as performed, but anything higher, not really. And this is higher. But uh, we're going to talk about the bullpen. A couple of guys that I think has over underperformed is uh, Aloldis Chapman. 
this might be a little recency bias, but I feel like he just hasn't been that good all season. He hasn't been dominant yet. Um, another guy is Chad Green. Uh, he's blown multiple games. Our offense has picked him up a couple times. But uh, he's blown a couple of games that we have to come back. And it's just not a good look for Chad Green. Other than those two, I think uh, uh, Noah Isaacson as well, maybe. But I'm not too worried about him. He had a brilliant outing last night. Um, yeah, the bullpen has been over a really good. We have the best ERA in baseball. We have the second best OPS in baseball. You know, this team is just completely, really, really good. And I'm going to go over the over-under that I have for everyone. DJ, performed. Judge, performed. Rizzo, performed. Stanton, performed. Donaldson, performed. Glaber, performed just barely. Hicks, underperformed. Gallo, underperformed. Hagee, Trevino, underperformed. IKF, I said underperformed. Shamo, performed. Cole, performed. Monty, performed. Nestor, performed. Sevi, underperformed. Lorizaga, underperformed a little bit. Chapman, underperformed a little bit. Chad Green, underperformed a little bit. That is the underperformed or performed. Just to let y'all know where our players stand, if you guys didn't know. Because when we're playing well, you know, when you're playing bad, you can tell who's playing bad. But when you're playing well, as well as we're playing, you know, people got to spot it out. You got to go through the stats to find it. And that is the beauty of when you are playing really well as a team. Uh, this is wild. Yankee fans, signing off for the day. I think um, tomorrow we are going to do... Um, tomorrow I will be either talking about some uh, trade opportunities at the trade deadline, who we should replace, all that all that junk. Or um, I may go into a depth of a player that has kind of fell under the radar of how, how well they've played recently for the Yankees. Obviously, I'm not going to be talking about Judge or Stan because everyone knows how well they've played. But, you know, we're going to be talking about you know, the Donaldsons, the Stan, the, the Gallows, you know, I can have the past couple of games, you know, just sprinkle some stuff in there. Anyways, until next time, peace.